There's a lot to love about games that deliver directed, linear, scripted experiences, especially when they're finely crafted. But there's just something about a good sandbox that feels irreplaceable. Being let loose in a large game with a multitude of systems at play and being allowed to interact and engage with them how you want is an exhilarating feeling, one that can't be found anywhere else. In this feature, we'll be talking about 15 such games. Grand Theft Auto V Let's start off with the biggest, most popular sandbox game there is, shall we? Sure, GTA V has a massive campaign to go through and finely crafted missions to experience, but the real star of the show is the open world sandbox. We've spent countless hours wreaking havoc all over the map, messing with NPCs and trying out new things just for the heck of it. You can spend hours upon hours just enjoying the open world of GTA V without ever even touching the main story. That's the mark of a truly great sandbox game. Minecraft Minecraft is the very definition of sandbox, in that you can literally do whatever the hell you want. There's a deluge of activities on offer, each more engaging and dangerously addictive than the last, and players around the world have spent hundreds if not thousands of hours just messing around with those activities. It is an industry benchmark for sandbox games, and one that's hard to live up to. Saints Row the Third Much like GTA V or many other systemic open world titles, Saints Row the Third drops players into a large open playground with various interlocking systems and lets you run wild with your imagination. Unlike Saints Row 4, the third strikes the perfect balance between its ridiculous over-the-top elements and being at least slightly grounded in reality, thus carving out the strongest identity for itself than any other game in the series. Just Cause 4 Just Cause games have always been treasure troves when it comes to going ballistic in sandbox environments, and Just Cause 4 is the pinnacle of that kind of freedom. It builds upon the best elements of its predecessors, including the adrenaline-fueled traversal, making use of Rico's gadgets in constantly inventive ways, and exploiting the explosive destruction physics. On top of that, there are new, insane weather mechanics, which adds a whole new layer to a game that already has so much systemic richness. No Man's Sky No Man's Sky offers a nearly limitless universe for players to explore. And thanks to the constant stream of massive updates it has received since launch, the game now offers a plethora of activities to lose yourself in. Multiplayer, base building, engaging with the survival mechanics, or simply exploring and documenting the many, many planets in the universe and their flora and fauna. Needless to say, there's no shortage of content here. Dwarf Fortress Don't let Dwarf Fortress's simplistic looks fool you. This is a startlingly deep, ridiculously massive game that you can lose hundreds of hours of your life in. There's a ridiculous amount of things to do, and each of them have more mechanical depth than you'd guess. This is one of the games that influenced Minecraft, one of the biggest sandbox games out in the world right now. That should tell you something about how good Dwarf Fortress is. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when people talk about emergent mechanics or systemic open worlds, it's hard not to immediately think of Breath of the Wild. This game offers complete and absolute freedom. After the opening cutscene, you are free to do whatever you want. In fact, it wants you to do that. Because the true genius of Breath of the Wild lies in its mechanical depth. Even now, three years after its launch, people are still continuing to find completely new ways to do things in the game, completely new ways to make use of its plethora of interlocking systems. And there should be no doubt in anyone's mind that this will continue to happen for a long, long time to come. Goat Simulator Goat Simulator is as ridiculous as its name implies, and it revels in that fact. You can spend hundreds of hours causing chaos in its open world as a goat that's up to no good, bashing things, licking random objects and dragging them around, performing ridiculous stunts made even more fun by a scoring system, or just enjoying the game's hilarious ragdoll physics. All of it combines in a package that might be a little rough, but is still a hell of a lot of fun. TerraTech TerraTech isn't as popular as some of the other games on this list, but popularity isn't always representative of quality. Payload Studios' construction sandbox game is an absolute joyride. It is the video game equivalent of playing with hundreds of Lego blocks and building whatever your imagination allows you to. Hitman 2 One of the most unsung resurgences of this generation has been Hitman, a series that was reborn by achieving its ultimate vision in its purest and clearest form yet. Hitman has always been about giving players tools, such as social stealth, that they can use to their advantage. 
but these new games, especially Hitman 2, take it to an absolutely ludicrous level. With meticulously constructed masterpieces of sandbox design, such as the Mumbai level, Hitman 2 offers players massive sandboxes, with dozens of interwining and crisscrossing routes, each hiding entirely different options on how to approach the situation, each offering the player an entirely new way to express themselves. As far as achieving true sandbox design goes, there may not be a game that has done it better than Hitman 2. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. The sheer breadth of gameplay opportunities on offer here is staggering. The developers have expertly crafted a startlingly deep galaxy, and the community has leveraged that to build one of the richest, most alive sandboxes out there. It really does put the massive in MMO. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Hideo Kojima has always liked systemic gameplay in his titles, but it was with Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, the tragically cut short final installment in the series, as well as its companion, Ground Zeroes, that he took this fascination to the logical extreme by delivering a sandbox to enterprising players. Ground Zero and The Phantom Pain are fantastically constructed, allowing for an almost unmatched degree of player expressiveness and emerging gameplay. A lot of people often complain that The Phantom Pain is a repetitive game, and it is if you don't use all of the incredible tools that it gives you, and which you can continue to use in new and surprising ways even after dozens of hours spent mastering its systems. Terraria Terraria is often called a 2D side-scrolling version of Minecraft, and while that is an effective elevator pitch for ReLogic's excellent sandbox title, it is also highly reductive. Somehow, in spite of being one dimension short of Minecraft, Terraria still manages to offer a ridiculous amount of depth and freedom to players with its multitude of mechanics. Millions have been playing Terraria non-stop since it came out nearly a decade ago. That, more than anything else, should tell you all you need to know about this game. Elite Dangerous While so many crowdfunded projects, including in this specific genre, have failed to deliver, Elite Dangerous has been out there offering the quintessential space sandbox game for over half a decade now. The scope of the game was already massive when it launched, but Developers Frontier have continued to add to it, and now you can literally live a second life as a specialized trader, miner, thief, bounty hunter, a mix of some, or all of those, and more still. Because much like EVE Online, Elite Dangerous is practically limitless in just how open-ended it can be in providing structure or mechanics to the player. You very literally have a galaxy of possibilities awaiting you, and if there is something, anything you want to do in it, you most probably can. Skyrim If ever there was a game the presence of which would not need to be justified on this list, Skyrim is it. It is now almost 10 years old, and people still manage to find new ways to use and abuse the tools the game gives them to pull off some truly astonishing things. Skyrim was, of course, designed to be this way, but the litany of inadvertent bugs and glitches the game has only adds to the hilarity when thrown into the mix as well. And we aren't even talking about the mods here, which add an entirely new dimension to just how much you can pull off in the game. Skyrim's longevity ultimately comes down to its willingness to let players break it beyond belief making it an enduring sandbox that remains, in many ways, untopped to this day. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.